God of wonder, open to us the great mystery that the animals might see the Lord newborn and lying in a manger. Amen. It seemed like a brilliant idea for a Christmas pageant. It could have additional characters, interesting ones at that, the opportunity for fantastic costumes and maybe a little different set design. It sounded great, but somehow I could never convince anyone to stage it. The inspiration for this pageant was a nativity story written for children, a book titled We Were There, a story woven with vivid imagination by the author Eve Bunting and illustrated with compelling paintings by Wendell Miner. The story is told from the point of view of creatures who found their way to the manger creatures who do not usually appear in our pageants or our nativity scenes. Here are the creatures making their journey. The snake crossing the wintry desert, leaving a curving trail as he passes through the sand. The warty, rough toad leaping and crawling with his webbed feet. The scorpion with his hard shell clattering over the rocks, vowing not to use his sting that night. The shiny-shelled cockroach knowing the hiding places of the earth since time began. The bat swooping in silence and darkness, not dependent on the light. A spider spinning webs from tree to tree, sped along by the wind. And the rat, already waiting at the inn, where he regularly searches for scraps squeezing under the stable door and into the straw to see what is happening. These are the creatures we could add to our Christmas vision and our Christmas pageant. It's not just a story for children. This story with its unlikely characters is the story of good news, of great joy for all people. Christ is born for everyone. Everyone has a place around the manger. Christ is born for the people we are most drawn to and connected with. And Christ is born for the ones who make our skin crawl. Christ is born for those we turn to with love and grace. And Christ is born for those we turn away from in revulsion or fear. Christ is born for those who stir our deepest empathy. And Christ is born for those whose seemingly irrational actions or beliefs we cannot comprehend. Christ is born for us at our most lovable and at our most alienated. Christ is born for us in our strongest moments and in our most discouraging ones. Christ is born into our world tonight. Christ is born into this world where we walk in the darkness of disease, division, and distrust. 
Christ is born even when we are at our worst as well as when we are at our best. Christ is born and we see a great light. The star in the sky urges everyone to journey however they can to the stable. The last painting in this unusual nativity story shows this scene. Snake, toad, scorpion, cockroach, bat, spider, and rat, all peering from a darkened corner of the stable to catch a glimpse of the baby Jesus, steadfastly watching the wonder of this birth. The story concludes with these words. In times to come, they'll talk about this silent night, the donkey and the cows so generous to share their place, the little lambs as soft as lilies of the field. No one will look beyond the light to darkness and the corner where we watch unwatched. They will not know or care, but we were there. We are there. We are there this night into the darkness of our world and of our own lives. Jesus is born. The radiance of this newborn child reaches at every shadowed rafter and every obscure corner of his birthplace and every shadowed place of our lives as well to shine on all those who come to see him. This is indeed good news of great joy for all people. Amen.